for you. Today, the two men charged in connection with a hit and run accident that killed an eight year old girl were back in court. And during today's testimony and the hearing there, we heard testimony from a man who was driving an ice cream truck when little Kamari Smith was hit. Seven Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk was in court and is live downtown with more on the story. Mike. Good afternoon, Jeff and Joanne. This is truly a heartbreaking case. A little girl simply trying to enjoy a summer treat, mowed down by a hit and run driver. Well, this afternoon, the uh, two defendants in the case were back in district court. 23 year old Courtney Shields walks into Judge Alicia Jones Coleman's courtroom Friday afternoon. He faces a second degree murder charge in connection to the death of eight year old Kamari Smith. Kamari was at the corner of Robeson and Eaton Streets on Detroit's west side buying ice cream from a truck. She came across the street, got her ice cream. She left the truck. And that's when a silver charger came barreling through. I said, damn, that charger flying. Seconds later. Then I seen something go up in the air. And I said, then I looked back at Paul. I said, Paul, did you see that? I hear a uh, thump like and. And I heard a lady say something that's outside the truck, and I turn around, and the next only thing I could see was when a uh, little Kamari landed like on the hood of the car, and the car just slowed down a little bit, and then it took on off. That was on May 19th. Kamari died six days later at Children's Hospital. Police say Courtney Shields was driving that charger when Kamari was hit. However, none of the witnesses testifying on Friday could positively identify Shields as the driver. A second defendant, 18-year-old Leonard Crosby, is charged as an accessory after the fact. He waived his right to a preliminary hearing on Friday afternoon. Now, Kamari Smith's family was in the courtroom this afternoon, and some of the testimony was very difficult for them to hear and to handle. They broke down a few times in tears. We asked them if they had anything they wanted to say to uh, the city of Detroit. Following the hearing today, they declined to speak with us on camera this afternoon. Shields will be back in court next Thursday morning. Uh, Leonard Crosby will be back in court next Friday morning. For now, we're live outside the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. Mike Wolfo, 7 Action News.